Hi right, guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be looking at how to build our very own mech suit as you can see in the background here it is flipping amazing so if you want to know how to build your very own mech battle zord thing suit make sure to stick around for the whole episode guys because i'm going to be running you through how to build this what it can do its weapons and how it can even transform so stick around to find out So guys, as I was saying, we are going to be looking at how to build our very own mech suit. It is going to be awesome, it is going to be amazing, and yeah, I don't want to waste any more time and get straight into it. But guys, if you are new to the channel, it would really help me out if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and slap that like button. You know, come on, show a bit of love to the channel, doesn't hurt. And yeah, so let's get on straight to it. Um, this is a data pack, or data pack, whatever you want to call it, it's data pack, um, <laughs> for 1.16.4 and above. It does work in the 1.17 uh, update, or the snapshot for it as well. It does work with Forge, and it works alongside other mods as well. If you want to know how to put in data packs to your world, guys, let me know, and I can perhaps do a tutorial on that as well some other time but that is what this is today and i'm going to be showing you how to build that mech suit it is an amazing suit and it is done by an amazing uh mod creator or data pack creator a uh, velox raptor extremely underrated uh youtuber uh i i follow him i love his content he does some amazing stuff so velox raptor go check him out uh he hasn't asked for this either he so go to his channel check out the stuff he has all the links i will link his channel down below uh and his video on this uh or his creation of this and on his channel you will find links to loads of data packs that are just mind-blowingly amazing we have covered some of them in the past but with this is going to be the one we're going to be going over today so velox raptor go check him out amazing amazing guy it's so underrated he's got less subs than me which is, is baffling to be perfectly honest um yeah so to create this mecha suit it is super duper easy well i say super duper easy you need a block of neverite which is not easy uh actually in the slightest it's a very rare material but you come on it's a mech suit that transforms you're gonna wanna it's, it's it can't be too easy surely and then you're going to use blocks of iron like this around it. And then all you're going to do, pop a pop a carved pumpkin on its head. And bish bash bosh, you have the mecha suit zord thing. It's amazing. It is so cool. Okay. Uh, no, it did not want to put that on my head. Now, this guy is just so cool looking. I like the little animation. And if you want to know where to sort of jump into it you have to build up from the ground sort of like um in pacific ring to in rim to get into their sort of suits they gotta gotta go up some platforms and then jump into this area here in the torso region so it's nice and clearly sort of pointed out where you've got to get into it's where the smoke is sort of coming from and if you're wondering why you can see sea serpents it's because we are going to be using this later to battle some mobs to see how strong this would be against, say, the Ice and Fire mod. Um, just out of curiosity, really. So, let's jump on into this amazing suit just by right-clicking on that. And here we go. Awesome, awesome looking suit. Great walking animation as well. Looks fantastic. You can't jump in this thing, but... As I said, it does transform, which we will look at later. But yes, guys, I want to know what your thoughts on the look of this sort of mecha zord thing. Um, I want to know down below, do, do you love the look of this? Uh, because I do. I feel like it's not too outlandish. It really fits in with the Minecraft world. It's not too realistic looking. So uh, for me, I think it's, it's a great combination of just 
fitting in with the Minecraft surroundings and just being epic at the same time. But let me know what you guys think about that down below. Now, to activate its weapons, you're going to use the multi-tool here, provided to you as soon as you go into the suit. Okay, so you're going to put the multi-tool here for the shield. Yes, you have a shield which activates soon as you walk. So walking around activates the shield, gives a good bit of resistance and protection when fighting mobs or battling, whatever. And it automatically goes off soon as you stop walking as well. Now, you, ha you can also have a saber. Look at this flipping thing. You have a sword. What is not to love? And yet again, when you're walking, it's out in front of you, ready to kill anything it touches. Okay, so let's take a look from this point of view. There you go. You can see it in action here. And if you, if I get this right, it's you click on the multi-tool and it activates its slash attack. So I'm just right-clicking on the multi-tool, activating its slash attack. So let's see if we can damage the sea serpent. The, there isn't a specified range on this. I'm sure if you go into the config files, if you can. Uh, actually, no, it's a data pack. There wouldn't be, would there? I can't quite remember that. But there isn't a specified range. So I'm not too sure what that would be. Um, but it seems, it seems to be reaching fairly far. But either way, it's a cool little attack. And you do kill mobs by walking on them as well. So if you've got the shield up and that's the only attack you kind of want to do and you're trying to defend, if you walk on a mob, it's going to kill them straight away. It's flipping powerful. Of course it's going to kill them if you get trod on by a flipping giant mech suit. Of course you will die. Pretty, pretty obvious stuff that. But yes, those are its weapons or its weapon and its defense mechanism. And as I was saying, guys, it does transform. Come on. So you just got to move this tool over here. Go over to here. Right click. And what? That is amazing. We are now a flipping fighter jet. Come on. And to control this, you do it by looking. So the direction you want to go. And obviously pressing forward with the W button or arrow keys, whatever you use. And there's my other mech suit over there. And is it chilling? Is it like walking by itself? Oh, it's walking with me. Um, so I'm sort of like controlling that one as well. Can I control multiple mech suits? I don't know. I haven't, haven't sussed that one out. Maybe I can control an army of mech suits. That would be mad, wouldn't it? I'd love that. An army of mechas. So yes, this is what it's like flying around as a freaking jet. And it is amazing. Supposedly, you can right-click um, to transform back. But I think it's because it's not super supposed to be played in 1.644. It doesn't transform back. Uh, unless I'm doing something wrong there. But either way, it's freaking awesome. And you've got a jet then. So my recommendation, have two mech suits. One to battle, one to fly around in. Yay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in some mobs from the Ice and Fire mod. And we're going to see how the mech suit goes up against them. Okay, so we have the mech suit here ready and raring to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and spawn in the first mob. And we're going to try the Dreadlich first, I reckon. Start out small, head bigger. And this guy's going to obviously spawn in some mobs, which is going to help massively. Has he already started trying to attack my mecha zord thing suit? Come on, let me let me into the suit. There we go. All right, let's change on game mode, and uh, let's head up into survival. Let's do this. Okay, so immediately, am I treading on anything? Am I killing these guys? I feel like I'm definitely killing. Am I am I hitting him? Am I? I feel like I'm just definitely doing stuff. The skeletons are dying. Definitely. Let's try just treading on the dread lich. Let's just try treading on this guy. Has, 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 has treading on him worked? We are injuring him. We are most certainly injuring him. Is he by my feet? I can't. I can't tell. Yeah, we <laughs> flipping. We flipping have. We've been really killing this guy. Am I just? I'm just standing on him, and that that that's doing enough. So we're gonna shift all these over here, and you can hear you can hear the dread lich dying. 
So we're going to throw that here. And we're going to use this. And we're going to see. Has that done it? Have we killed the. We've killed the Dreadlich. And that is that. So the Zord suit definitely can withstand the Dreadlich. Now let's go for some bigger things now. So let's go for. Okay, yeah, dropping down isn't fantastic. Um, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so let's. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to time this correct. Uh, so let's go for. Let's go back to creative. Okay, so we'll get a dragon or two up in here. Can we, okay, now we're chatting. Now we're chatting. Okay, boom in the Zord suit. Let's go for it. Let's get this going. Oh no, guys, come. Come back here! Don't be, don't be doing this to me. Okay, can can I can we walk up here? Okay, to so walk in this thing, it's not it's probably relatively fast for a normal running Minecraft mob. Okay, yep. Can we go up? Yes. Now this. Okay. Hey, Mr. Dragon, how you doing, Broski? Okay, let's see if I can take you out with this. Okay, uh, am I am I damaging you at at, at all? Okay, no, where are you going? Where are you where are you go? I don't feel like the sword is reaching. Okay, I can't get through trees. I can't get through trees. This is this is a nightmare. Am I treading on you? Yes, sort of. Okay, so he's sort of like make Yes, there we go. What the hell? What the hell is happening? What the uh, have, has I have I killed the dragon? Uh I can't tell. I I, I honestly I don't know if I've just killed the dragon. What the heck is happening? What the heck is happening here? Are we just breaking through the ground? What is going on here? Uh, I honestly don't know what's happening, but the mech suit is dying. I think we're trapped. I think we're trapped down here with the dragon. Is my mech suit on fire? What happened to my sword? What's going on? I'm dying. I'm slightly on fire. This is... This is not ideal um I, I feel like these guys are potentially dead okay let's okay I feel, I feel like i've still got the sword sort of so if i just walk on oh no fire dragon killed me all right so that sums that up if it didn't if it didn't survive against that then it's not gonna survive against the flipping cyclops it's just not gonna happen uh i kind of want to give it a go though actually yeah stuff it let's do it we're here to have fun. Alright, so I'm going to have to spawn another one in. Okay, let's do this thing. Cyclops is in. And now let's get up into the Zord suit. Let's get up. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. In here now. Uh, that guy's eating. I don't know what he's eating. Is he eating me? Is he trying to eat me? I feel like he's trying to eat me. Uh, not 100% sure what he's picking up. Let's change game mode and let's go for it. All right. So I don't. Where did, where did my little Where did my little thing go? Where's my little tool? I've lost my little tool. Okay. So he's definitely coming after me, and he's definitely attempting to sort of eat me. But I can't hit him without my little my little tool thing. So I have no idea where that flipping thing's gone. He's not chuffed this old cyclops, though, is he? I feel like the dragons got me because I had, like, I don't know, with their fire or something? Not a clue. But this, the walking over this guy does not work. So let's see if we do when we walk over this sheepy, the sheepy sheep. And, oh, are we, did, we, did we kill the sheepy sheep? Oh, no, we're not killing the sheepy sheep. Uh, is it, yep, there we go. That got him. That got the sheep. Yeah, that's a dead sheep right there. I know a dead sheep when I see a dead sheep. Okay, this... This guy? No, like, I'm literally treading on him right now. Well, that's that then. Well, at least you guys know that you can spawn in a mecha suit. And it can sort of go up against certain mobs of a smaller variety. It might be due to the hitbox on this Cyclops not corresponding to where the feet are stomping. Who knows? I don't. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know in the comment section, comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. See ya.